going to finish taking off the parts I need off the homeless Honda and get ready to switch it out and show you which way we're going to go here just directly. Got to take this hub driver off and get it all set up to use on the next motor. to be difficult so we'll get this all tore off and bring you back in a bit all right guys here we have us a Kohler command it's an 18 horse and the 20 horse homeless, homeless Honda has left now we're going to tear down this uh, 18 horse Kohler command since it's up here on the magic bench and we're going to put some twist on this motor and this will be the wife's new motor going in her tractor so we got a lot of tear down to do to get it down to the short block and all and I'll show you in steps as we go as I get it tore down I'll keep bringing you back and showing you where we're at and hopefully this video will be a little bit helpful to people that works on the Kohler Commands, the stock motors. And this will be a stock motor when I put it back together, so I'll be able to show you quite a bit on it. So, first thing i got to do is get this mower clutch off of here and get that done, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, we got the clutch hub off. I use this puller in the good old earthquake to get it off of there and there it is all right guys we got the heads tore off of it we got the mower deck clutch off the off the uh, shaft draining the oil out of it now Spin it around here after we get it drained out and get the uh, shroud off of it and stuff. And then we're going to pull the cover and look inside the motor and pull everything out after I pull the flywheel and the cover and everything off this side. You get that far? I'll bring you back. Alright, guys. We got the shroud and everything off. And this motor is just caked with grease and tree pieces. Just a wreck. But it's been abused a little bit. But by the time the wife gets done abusing this, it'll be a whole different story. So we're going to get the flywheel and all this pulled off. Pull off the coils. Then I'll bring you back and show you what else we got because this thing got. Has a seal or something leaking, but that's okay. We're gonna go completely through this all the way to bare block and put it back together. Okay, guys, I got the stock hub pulled off of the flywheel. And the guys that don't know it, when you go to take the dry shaft out, be careful. Because right here inside is little ball bearings. And you will need them to put your dry shaft back together. So watch what you're doing when you tear them apart because you're going to need these parts. Alright guys, we got the flywheel tore off. Now we're going to take this cover plate off for the charging system and 
This is one grungy, grungy motor. Lots of, lots of leaks and all. I have worked on a lot of diesel engines, rebuild motors, and I'll tell you, I've never seen one this grungy. So, this is horrible, 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 horrible. So, we got to get it all cleaned out. We get into these bolts, get these out. So, it's going to take a little bit. What a mess. Get all these covers out of it. charging system. And if you're going to run a charging system, you're going to need them parts. So, and that's that. Looks like a, a piece for the garbage man. We'll save the coils. But I built a lot of diesel engines from N14s to the small cam 300, four, big cam 4s, N14 ISX, Detroit. I've done some Caterpillars, liners, and some rebuild the transmissions and rear ends in them. And I ain't never had one as bad as this. Maybe the old slobber in 318 Detroit. But never seen a mess like this. It's in this one. So, I get all these bolts out of this for this charging system. all done and then it's time for the power washer. This is Removing right now, it's for your charging system.
here's your flywheel this magnet right here is what your coils throw your fire off of as this comes around it hits your pickup coils and puts fire to each cylinder so there's that we'll bring you back here in a little bit all right guys we got your starter pulled off now two 10 millimeter bolts not a bad setup and by golly we're moving right on along be down to pulling the internals out of it here just directly get them lifters pulled out there's one Those are hydraulic lifters. There's three. And there's the fourth one. And that's your hydraulic lifters. Which I really like the hydraulic lifters because they're self adjusting. Get your rockers and push tubes in and on. She'll adjust herself after you torque your rockers to spec. Pretty easy setup. Bring it back here in a bit. Okay, guys. Got the pistons up out of it. Got to pull the cam out yet. And there's the cam. should come out and there goes the crank and that's that Get her cleaned up. Get ready to give it a honing and order the pistons and new connecting rods and reassemble it. Time it up. And that'll be the end of that one. But there you go. Showed you how to clean it, clean out to an empty block, and we're going to rebuild it all new, put all new parts in it, pistons, rods, we'll use the same cam in it, we'll dress the cam, and we're going to use the same crank in it, because the crank is, does not appear to be hurt, I don't have no grooves or anything in it, so... We'll be in good shape with that crank. It'll go back in it. Same for the car the cam. Gear's not showing no wear or nothing. All the cam lobes are good. So that'll be it for that till we get some new rods and pistons get it cleaned up we'll have to take it into the machine shop and I'll do a uh, a 10 over because it's stock pistons in it and 
the way you can tell these pistons will be stamped STD so that's stock never never been oversized or anything yet I'll do a cleanup bore so it'll be, take a 10 over piston now and it'll be like new so there you have it I'll bring you back whenever I get parts and we go to reassemble this motor and that's going to wrap it up so if it does you any good give me a thumbs up don't like it give me a thumbs down leave me a comment if you haven't hit subscribe please do thank you